46. The annual Aikens Macon turns 47 this year, and the free two-day arts and crafts event in downtown Aiken promises to have something for everyone. September 8th and 9th in downtown Aiken, we are joined again by John McMichael with the Aiken Chamber of Commerce, organizers of the event. John, good to see you again. Thanks well, for joining good us. Good to see both of you. Appreciate it. Uh, so it's coming up, number 47. Uh, tell us a little bit about Aiken's Macon, what attendees can look forward to. Boy, I'll tell you this, we're... I'm usually excited about it. It's kind of like Christmas Eve for us right? because uh, we have all the vendors coming into town today and setting up ahead of the weather tonight. But uh, it's, it, it's one of those things that um, it's hard to explain. You have to experience it. But there are so many different crafts. About 30 to 35 percent of the crafters that we'll have this year are brand new. Right. They've never been. The other uh, 70 percent or so uh, they've been here for, a lot of them have been here the whole time that I've been doing it, and that's 14 years. So um, it, it's, it's like old home week for a lot of us. We walk around just to see the people, and they say, hey, John, how are you? And, uh, of course, I can't remember any of their names because they're, they're scattered <laughs> all over the, the face, place. The yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But they have so many different crafts. I mean, if you can't find something in there, it's, uh, it's amazing. Anything from handmade jewelry to, uh, to artwork to uh, Iron work uh, and the food. We don't want to forget about the food. Oh no, no, we, we and don't all the want sports to forget about that. And all the sports teams oh, are represented teams. in some fashion or form. But uh, like I told somebody yesterday, I said it, when we go to the food vendors, um, uh, we, there are about 30 of them, and uh, we have everything from baklava to barbecue. Oh so, man! And everything. Uh, that's not a real range of alphabetically, but there's a lot of things you out can, there. You can sure. do a lot with the beat. There's something, there's something for everyone, and it really is a community event, which it is really great. Is. Uh, it 47 is. years now, how have you seen this event change over the years? Well, you go back to the very beginning, and it was almost like a, a church bazaar kind of a thing. But it has evolved into a very, uh, a very strategic thing. It, the, the vendors are on a circuit, many of them, where they go from city to city uh, with events very similar to this all over the country. Ours is kind of unique because uh, it's free and uh, the crafters are all vetted and we have about 230 vendor, uh, vendors that'll be coming in with all the crafts. We have them set up on the street and we have them in the parkway. And we are so happy to have that parkway because of the, the uh, umbrella of uh, trees, just it acts like a natural umbrella. So if you have a little downpour, we get in and, and uh, nobody goes, they just go out there. They grab some food and go sit, oh, yeah. sit up there and eat. <laughs> get your baklava or barbecue like exactly. and enjoy that. Yeah. Exactly. But uh, it's, it's really something that people look forward to, and we do too. And we're looking forward to it, Will. Uh, we will also be live uh, with Morning Mix from uh, the Aikens Bacon tomorrow morning as well. Uh, where can people get more information, John, if they want to participate? Well, if they want uh, to find out more about it, go to the uh, uh, Greater Aiken Chamber of Commerce website or AikenMacon.com. All right, check that out. The 47th annual Aikens Macon, not uh, compared to what the 46 is, uh, but definitely check that out. Uh, again, tomorrow and Saturday, starting at 9 a.m. both days. John McMichael, thanks so much Thank for Thank you all so much. And bring your grandmother. We will oh, be there. Grandma, yes. I love that. Yes, yes. I think so. Thank you very much. Thank you.